Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on factorising by taking a common algebraic factor out. Now in the previous video we saw how we looked for a common factor between each of the terms in a sum or a subtraction. And then we put that on front of a bracket. So what's common to x squared and x? Now if you were to think of x squared as xx, because x times x is x squared, then what's common to the xx and the x? Well, they have an x in common, don't they? So what we do is we write our bracket and we write an x on the front. Whatever's common goes on the front. And then we think about expanding, because usually the way we expand is to do the thing on the front of the bracket multiplied by each of the things inside the bracket. So x times what would give you x squared? Well, it's x x times x gives you x squared. And then, let's put that plus in the middle, x times what would give you x? Well, it's 1, isn't it? x times 1 would just be 1x, which is just x. And we are done with this factorisation. What about this second one? Again, we need to find what's common to both this and this term as well. Now, I always start with the numbers because the numbers are in front of each term. 6 and 8. What factors do they have in common? Well, they're both even, so they're definitely going to have 2 as a common factor. Now, there's still other stuff we can factorise out of both of these. Can you see this has an x squared and this has an x? And just like this previous example, we can see that these have a common factor of x. What about y and y squared? Well, that's y and that's yy. They have a single y in common. So again, that goes on the front. And then we can have our bracket after. So it's very important you try to factorise out the most you can from each of these terms in terms of what's common. Then we think, well, 2xy times what is going to give you 6x squared y? Well, the 2 we need to multiply by 3 to get to the 6. Now, we've got x squared here, but we've only got an x. We need to times the x by an additional x, so that x times x is x squared. And then, this has got a single y, and we've already got that y, so we don't need to times by any extra y's. y times blank is still going to be the y. Then we've got this minus in the middle. And then, let's consider what we need to multiply 2xy by to get to 8xy squared. Well, 2 times 4 gives you the 8. Now, we've already got a single x, and there's only a single x there, so we don't need to multiply by any additional x's. And then y, we're going to need to times by y to get that y squared there. And that is the complete and final factorisation.